in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a dynamic query function that can query multiple variables. So what do I mean? I have a data set here, which has seller distribution section, category, subcategory, classification, sales amount, and date. Now I want to filter this function onto this sheet here. For example, now I'm filtering based on distributor. When I select distributor here, it builds a query function on which it best run the query. For example, if I select XYZ, you can see this changes to XYZ and it filters data based on XYZ distributor. So if I go back to ABC distributor, select a section, maybe electronics, then it displays all electronics. When I remove electronics, it brings all the sections. And if I want garden and home, I can select garden and home like so. So this is what we are gonna be doing. So it is very dynamic. You can select the electronics here, then you, it builds it here. Then you select the category, for example, we have audio here. Then you select audio, it brings audio alone. Of course, we have the subcategory, uh, which is headphones and so on. Now, if I select a category that is not in my data set, I'm going to return nothing like you see here. A category of sofas cannot fall under audio electronics and ABC distribution. So it returns nothing right there. This is what we are going to be building and I'm going to take you step by step on how we can achieve this. So right now to get started, it is the same data. And on this sheet, I'm running a query and I'm referring my query to B6, which is an empty space. And by default, it returns all the data. So my query refers to this G6. Now in G6, in B6, sorry, I'm gonna build my query and I'm going to say select all where my distributor in column B, if I go to my data set, under column B, we have distributor. So I say where the distributor, which is B, is equal to, in quotes, I'm going to refer to cell B3. B3, so it's because ABC distributor is selected here, so whatever is going to be returned is for AB distributor. Next, I want now to go to category. If I select category right now, it's not connected. So you can see it is not returning electronics as this one here. So to do that, I'm going to say, build my query function on here and to concatenate. I use the and. Now, when I think about what I'm going, I want to do is I want if, if this section is not selected, in other words, if C3, I type C3 is equal to nothing, return nothing. So my query will not pick this. Okay, and if it is as a value, then in my quotes, I'm going to use and, I'm going to add in the and and say section, which is C, column C, section under my data, if you go to data, this one here should equal to should equal to 
in quotes, double quotes, and percent should equal to whatever is under C3. So I'm going to say C3. I press enter and there you go. So you'll observe that now that I have electronics here, it returns electronics. If I select home and garden, it returns home and garden. If I remove A, it returns everything that relates to the distributor. Both sections are returned and everything that relates to this distributor is returned. So I want to continue on and bring in the category, subcategory, and classification. Now that I've built this section, it is easy to copy and paste and make a few amendments and I'll get my category, subcategory, and the classification. So I'm going to copy this function here, Control C, Control V, and a category in my data. So category is under D3. So I change this to D3. And category is under column D in my data. Category is under column D. So I'm going to say D equals to what is selected under D3. Press enter and there you go. Nothing is selected. So all the categories are returned. If I select audio, only audio is going to be returned as you can see there. I can continue for sub and I hope you get the idea. All I have to come here and do, put the N percent from there, concatenate it there. Now I go to E. So this, if this E3 is empty, return nothing. And subcategory under my data is under E, subcategory is under E. So I say E, return everything which is in subcategory E3, like so, and there you go. Now my subcategory here is head, headphones. So if I select headphones, it is added onto my query here and it works fine. If I remove it, it goes away from my query and there's nothing. If I select a category that does not exist, it does not return any data. And what this means, we don't have in our data set a entry which meets all these four conditions. That's why we return nothing here. And to put the classification, this is easy, all you need to do, copy this, add it to there, and change this to F, F3, my classification is now in F3. If F3 has nothing, return nothing, and my classification is under column F, and this is F like so. Select noise cancelling. It is built here and there you go. If I select nothing that meets all these five conditions, then nothing is returned. So if I remove this, you can see it now considers the four conditions as can be shown by my query function, which has one, two, three, four. If I remove this, now my query is based on these three conditions as you can see. So I remove that, it is based on these two conditions. I remove this, it's based on that, like so. So this is how we can use a dynamic query function to query data based on a number of variables. In my example, I had five variables. And of course here, I've been referring to the cell B6. 
If I don't want, after I've built my query here, all I need to do is select the query, hit escape, then go to my function here and control V, paste my query there. Now I don't need this cell B6 and my query function is working fine as you can observe right here. So that's it for this video. I hope this has been helpful. Please like the video if you have found it useful. Subscribe if you have not. And see you in the next video. And don't forget to have a great day.